Everybody strap in. I'm about to open some fucking windows. Thanks for tuning in. It's Tony Rewind from the Tony Rewind Show. We got a hot one today. Straight from the internet streets. Let's go. If I'm missing anybody, Dane and Jay. Well, I mean, everybody knows Damon was just, uh, and Biggs. Um, Damon was screaming all the time. I don't even know for what. For was what it passion? What was, was just at a certain point, you know, part of the key in this business is to help motivate people to, um, work to a common goal and to have create a vision and articulate articulate the vision and have people working motivate people and you know uh, screaming and insulting and um, um, irregular you know it was all over the place um, wasn't productive um, you know I don't know. Did y'all have a clash? What, what, did y'all ever have a relationship? I thought that we had a relationship. I thought that um, we enjoyed um, enough success um, to have an understanding of one another. Yeah. Um, but I think there became a moment in time where this thing became really, really big and multi-dimensional and you know there's there are people who work really well when things are percolating and small and growing but when they become big um, the transition is difficult so um, you know you and Dane ever run and talk no I've never talked to him okay yeah I mean, I've seen all the rants um, and all the criticism and um, all the things that he says about me, but you know. But I'm saying if both of y'all put y'all to the side, then yeah. a conversation could take place. Like, uh, you know what? You said this, I said this. Can we just talk and okay. see what it is? Yeah, I'm I, just saying if y'all if y'all could come to that place. I, I feel like I can. I mean, I don't really, um, you know, I never really cared what people said about me. You know what I'm saying? So it doesn't, doesn't, I, I have no problem. If he wanted to have a conversation, talk to me, I'd be happy to talk to him. All right, now, as you as you was going on, you was you was ready, you was talking about Biggs, Dame, and Jay, right? Yeah. I fell in out. Explain, yeah. break that down on the aspect of like, uh, when you was, like you said, Irvin and we did this, yeah. Dean so, did so, this. So I think, um, um, Jay, is unquestionably a lyrical genius of epic proportions okay this is a, you know i never realized till much later that he never wrote any of um his rhymes down i can you imagine storing all all this so he's obviously got some sort of um um type of special memory audio memory uh, um he is curious enough not to be stagnant and stuck on stupid. So he's constantly writing about um, new experiences and things that he brings to his fans. Um, he was articulate and he brought everybody wanted to kill for him. What Every, do you mean kill for him? We wanted to make sure that we did the best possible job from the promotion people to the marketing people to the art people there was something about how jay encouraged you to do your best work so he got extreme support from the team extreme support from the team extreme support from the team um we felt um hugely motivated you know when people have jobs you still need to motivate them they don't their their job people don't do jobs for fear of losing 
their jobs in the music business. They do jobs with the hope of doing something important. And when someone sits down and explains like, we're about to, you know, do this and create the blueprint. And this is why all of a sudden he could go do his thing and we're busy doing our thing to, you know, to contribute. So, and Biggs was, I think, um, um, quietly observing and having um, discussions with um, Dame and, and um, um, Jay. Um, so uh, it was, I think, a very effective team there um, for a period of time. Um, the tricky parts, like I said, about building a business is um, the transition from um, you know, a small business to a very large business. It's not for everybody. Um, who else? Uh, 